Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. And uh, we're going to continue with Shu Amaguchi's story. We at least want to get him to 80, I think. And uh, then we'll start looking at some other characters possibly. So, let's see. Uh, let's read this. To restore Tomi Kisaragi to her original body, Tetsuya Ida attempted to extract information from 426. But 426 tricked him and took over Kisaragi instead. Which fills yeah. in a lot of blanks for us. So me and Karabe-kun probably Fuyusaka too. The dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> and how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. No big deal. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Okay. Back. Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my He's not wrong about that. They the are, in Yuki fact, different Inaba people. Tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. The way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. I just... I just wanted a nice first date with you. I'm actually gonna listen to this one. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Okay. All right, so let's see. We are on a new section here. New school building hallway two. Yuki-chan? Nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. <laughs> Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Kurabe kun. Amikuchi kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Karabe kun. That was a little weird. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out too? <sighs> hmm. Yeah, that interaction with Karabe was a little <sighs> odd. Maybe I need some fresh air. To the roof? Let's do it. Now, I'm trying to remember if we've seen that scene from Karabe's point of view, or maybe we will see it later from Karabe's point of view. Maybe. Maybe I should just go public. Lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Aba talking to me. Send that tape out to TV stations. Hey, what's up, Ogata? Let's get you so spaced out. Uh, Amiguchi. Just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh... Remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh... I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Yeah, we've pretty much seen that whole story. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? Huh? I love how Ogata just oh. lays it out. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. <laughs> Do. Both of them are just like laying it out, and both of them are just like, dude, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I figured. <clears throat> oh, I totally forgot. What's up? Are you about to shoot us too, girl? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. Now, we've seen this scene from Megumi's point of view, I'm pretty sure, and I think she does pull out her, her little gun thing. I'll just get out of your way, then. I remember this. Vaguely. I have a terrible memory, but you all know that. What's up, Megumi? Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? Yeah, I remember this scene. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really, I, I... I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? No need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20. Transmitting. <gasps> This is probably the point where Megami figures out that maybe what she's doing is giving them these powers to be able to pilot these sentinels. Is this the robot I saw in my dreams? Whoa, shit, this thing flies! <laughs> Point looks to be Yaimachi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies and the US military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? <laughs> Probably just lost control. That sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? <sighs> Funny you should ask. He shares your DNA. Oh shit, you went you went up real high, buddy. Space? No way. I knew I was going up, but I can't have gone that high. Altitude reading says 2078 meters. You've bypassed the upper shield. Ooh, cool. You are now outside the enclosure. I'm outside the wall now? So, outside that, it's just... space? What does all this mean? I saw a lot of these huge robots in my dreams, but... none of them could fly. That is Sentinel number 20. And you are its operator. Does Yakushiji work for you? The Sentinel was never meant to be transmitted. They found us. Who's they? Intruders from another district. They left their origin point and came to your world. Another district? Wait, there's more than one of these places? We need to hide the Sentinel. I can't do anything for you here. You have to go back to your sector. Go back how? This thing's got propellers. Whoa! We're going down!
Well, hello, Yuki-chan. Uh, what the? Amiguchi? <sighs> so that's really interesting. So these domes have a layer that basically you can bypass to enter the, you know, the Mars atmosphere. What we're assuming to be the Mars atmosphere. I think that's basically been confirmed that we're on Mars, right? I think, I think that we've give, been given enough information that we know we're on Mars, we're in these domes, but I kind of thought that maybe they were sealed domes at the top, but it seems like they're, they're, like they're simulating some sort of atmosphere that you can't actually pass through to get out to the Mars atmosphere. Huh. Hey, it's Yuki-chan. I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. <laughs> Good timing, too. Kind of hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. That voice, was that Ida's voice? I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Hmm. <laughs> uh, he's got a. I mean, obviously, he knows that Amaguchi is his clone. Shu Amaguchi. Four eyes. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us, and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> She's working for him. She is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots Ooh. like you. Ouch. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way. Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Uh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. Are you threatening her now? Sounded like a threat almost, didn't it? But why would he do that right in front of her? Okay, so we need to get to wave 10 to open this up. I think there's one other person who's locked uh, for the second area wave 10 as well. Yeah, you. So Tomi and Shu are both locked right now. You can't even get to your 80 until we, we do those. And you're cleared. You're unlocked. Yeah, because we just we just did what we needed to unlock that. Yep, we'll do this, and then if we have some extra time, we might do one more, one battle. Um, let's, let's see. Seeing Shu Amaguchi somehow reminded Ryoko Shinonome of Tetsuya Ida and caused her to recall an important past event regarding Ida. Yes. We'll get her above 80%. And then, yeah, I think some battles are in order. Very, very soon here. Easy, take your time. Do you know where you are? Mr. Ida, he didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? Answer. Are you all right? Where are you going? Stop following. Okay, we've seen all this stuff several times at this point, so... Um, let's see. Let's figure out what we need to do. So, we need to get to the staircase again. So, run away and go to the left instead of the right. I think going left was the way that got the staircase. 
And then we went here. And I'm assuming that we'll be able to kind of branch off. Okay. Is there... Yeah? Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. What, what, what sort of women do you like? Well, I... What do you do on your days off? A posting about club member recruitment. That doesn't concern me. <sighs> but I took my pills. Senpai, are you alright? Who are you? Come on, Senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi? I don't know you. Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then, why does he seem so familiar? This isn't right. I just took some. You should probably go to the nurse's office. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. See? Better now. They're done sad. Oh. <laughs> My head. It hurts. Yeah, man, it's speeding up. It's happening a lot more frequently <sighs> now. It's empty. Damn, that girl. was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. It's already getting worse. The nurse's office oh. should have some. That girl. Shinonome, what are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Why though? Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? Oh no. Are they already erasing her mind? Like, is she partway through the process already, maybe? Or is it just the the fact that her mind is going already? I, I think it could be either one, right? Either her illness is just progressing a lot right now, or it's possible also that they're already trying to replace her with somebody else or a different version of herself. Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? <laughs> Tetsuya Ida from the Special Investigations Unit. Uh, Mr. Ida, but why would he? You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here in the science room? Can you remind me? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Now, the perspective right now, it's... It almost looks like she's aiming at Ida right now, but that doesn't seem... Normal. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. No, she is aiming it at him, shit. Am I just being used? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Ooh. But 
you having feelings for another girl? Oh my gosh. I can't accept that. This girl's got some issues. Hopefully she can figure them out. She just needs to not fall in love with old middle-aged men. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside like nothing. Also, you could have a do-over with her. Shinonome-kun, just take a breath. Probably, uh, original Tomi, right? Because we know that Ida, back in the day, was in love with Tomi. Tried to bring her back, all of that, so... It's gotta be Tomi that we're referring to this here. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. <sighs> You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. Oh shit, is she actually gonna do this right now? Wait, Shironomekun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Did she actually do it? Oh, shit. So, do you remember now? No. There's no way. I shot him? Yep. Then you booked it out of there. Anyways, Four Eyes wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. <laughs> oh my god. Is Mr. Ida... Is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. No. I couldn't have. No confirmed dead body, so he might still be alive. But damn, that was nuts. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? I saw... A recording. A recording of what? No. Stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. Ooh. There's no time. I need to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Seeing Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log 3214. And the next one is. <sighs> research on AI? <gasps> the data's gone. Strange. The log just ends here? It's when 426 escaped, probably. The most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. behind me the surveillance camera maybe there's something on there surveillance footage. the surveillance footage from when I came here last found it hmm Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times so they're the ones that opened the passageway Okay, maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the logs. Okay, let's get into it. This girl's got problems, man.
I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. Okay, so... It confirms that there was a switch, not an erasure or a deletion. And this is happening after 426 escapes. Gotcha. Good. You made that body... just for me. No. I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another, right away. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the Compatible. By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. So putting AI directly into the Sentinels, that's what we're talking about here, I think. That's right. Kind of like Although BJ. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Okay, we knew Miura had one. This is the first we've kind of heard of a Hijiyama AI out there, right? I don't think we've had any hint of, of having a, a Hijiyama uh, AI floating around somewhere. Yuko, look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi... Everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Iakun. Tommy. Please. Put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over from the beginning? Oh man, Ida, dude. From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. Damn, Ida. You need to fucking chill, bro. Mm. Okay. So we're kind of hitting a point where a lot of things are being locked by uh, wave 10 of area two. Totally makes sense. I think it is time for us to continue down that path, start working towards it. We're only 30 minutes in, so uh, I think that we can fit in one wave, and then at the start of the next episode, we'll be able to do wave 10. So let's do it. Okay, so Shinomi Sekigahara on the strike team. Okay. We can definitely bring both of them in. Seki Gahara. First generation, second generation only. Okay. We can also do that. Fine. I'm ready. Leave it to me. I guess it's all of them, huh? Cool, we just bring all of them in. 
Um, now let's see. What is it forecasting for us? Modified shields. Apsos kaiju will appear. Um, I don't remember specifically what the Apsos ones are, but the shields we need EMPs for. So you've got, I think we've got an EMP of some kind on all three of our G1s. Generation 2s. I don't know if they have any EMPs at all. Plasma Arc Fusion Cutter. Welding tool deals heavy damage to a ground kaiju. Ignores armor and slows movement. Anti-ground piercing rocket launchers, sentry gun, guardian. Yeah, let's look at what each of our characters here have. My turn. So you actually have that on your character. Cool. You've got a guardian avenger. Jammer rocket launchers. Ooh, the durability by 50%. I should definitely be using these, huh? blade, so, yeah. Any upgrades on your Sentinel? I guess you have more defensive stuff. You have some like shields and whatnot, so what would help you the most? Are the one who's really fast, right? Yes, the weight recovery speed is like greatly reduced, so we can definitely probably lean into your armor and speed and probably attack as well. So if we increase your defense, my man, then that means that... Okay, so we've got defense and speed on the actuator.
really quickly. We've maxed out meta chips, good. Meta skill uses are maxed out, that's good. start punching each other hey, here. don't let me interrupt you guys, but uh, <laughs> we've got company. Okay, movement's going to be really important on this one. We don't have any flyers, and we don't have snipers, so our movement's going to be have to be pretty optimal. <sighs> okay, so we've got stuff coming this way. Focus. I have How's the sentinel? eye out for when we start seeing where others are going to start popping in. Because um, right now I'm kind of moving everybody this direction and that's probably a bad idea. So there's one big boy over here. Gotcha. Okay, so our brawlers really need to go after you then. Um, let's see. Can I get a back attack? Barely. You're done. Did that do it? How do I? That ought to be used to fight by now. Oh yeah, yours takes up so much EP now though for that. I almost. Yeah, I almost don't want that. <laughs> Die already. Yeah. There it goes. Focus. Number 40. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Man, they've got new Absos models out too. If we don't stomp them out quick, they're going to be a real pain in the butt. Hostiles confirmed! How do I... 
Okay, so... How are we gonna deal with that? Also, what's the difference between a red circle and a white circle? It's the first time I've really noticed that there are different colored circles. What does that exactly mean? I don't, I don't know if I know. Okay, the EMPs we've got are not really conducive to how spread out these guys are. I almost wonder if it's better for me to just move my characters. All right, so our brawlers are the ones who, ha who have to do it. So... I need I one this. brawler, so you two are kind of here. I'm gonna have you start moving towards this. How's the Sentinel? Okay, you and Let's Hijiyama see. just opened up, now. so... damage I need. So let me see, how does this work again? Charges towards target area, knocking away ground kaiju in the sentinel's path. I don't necessarily want to move this guy. Kill him, good. Stay calm. Yeah, you keep moving that direction. No point overthinking it. I'm so glad you're fast. What's the plan? Number ten, moving out. Right. on grounds. Alright, I think now might be a time for an EMP here. Does hit at all of them, right? Yes. That way, whatever I'm doing here will also work on those guys. Yes. Are we getting their numbers down? Okay. What's the plan? No point overthinking it. Draw those guys for a minute. They're like any other punks. Don't waste any chances. 
Um, how do I tell if he's been able to get his guard back? How do I know if he's shielded or not? That work? Nothing special. Okay. Hmm. What now? Okay, you need to move like forward. Number ten, move ahead. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. I ought to be used to fights by now. I'm right here. Yeah. I'll make it work. What does the jammer do? Okay. Yeah, let's kind of meet in the middle and get some of these big, big ones here. Several people that are in here. That's not good. So, anti ground. I think it's the mine guy that's. Rid of that, good. Um, where's your back? Is it over here? Yes, it is. Done. How was that? I'll take them down quick. I'll just. What to do? I'll just.
on the ground right now because of the EMP. Kijiyama be able to go before this. I'm wondering if I should EMP now or probably need to EMP. Um, let's make sure that I am out of that blast range just in case. Oh. That work? How many left? I ought to be used to fights by now. We took care of the mine, that's good, and one of the good guys. I need, I need EP back. No more uses of that left, which means that I have to use my G1's EMPs for those shield guys in the back there. What do I do? I gotta keep that in mind because none of them are over here right now. Yeah, they're shielding some of those big guys right there, and I don't like that. Shield might go away now that I killed that guy, though. Maybe it just hasn't updated yet. Number ten, moving out. Come to me. I can help. Enemy threat range. Okay, missile going there. Some enemies here. I mean, they, they visually have those shields on, but... Like, what is my visual indicator to know? Because, I mean... Mm -hmm. God, we gotta deal with these guys. Uh, also, you're in a bit of danger there, Fuyusaka. Pull the sentinels. Yuri, status report. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. We'll fix the sentinel if we don't waste any chances. <sighs> it's just bad timing. But I've been a little quicker. Number eleven, <laughs> moving out. Don't let up. They ought to be used to fights by now. Shit. What do I do? You don't have the what EP. Do? This is bad. 
we're in a bad spot. We're in a really bad spot. Okay, this guy does not have a shield anymore. Number 12, Slow. How's the sentinel? No room for hesitation. We can do this. Right? What do I do? We're not S ranking this one, that's for sure. Oh no, they're after us again. Can I do anything to stop them? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Shit. Man, they destroyed that thing quick. I think that gets all of them. Did that do it? Neutralized. What do I do? How do I return? I'll try. Okay. Here comes the pain. Why do they still have I a have fucking control. shield? Do they have their own shield that I've got to get rid of? Because I thought these guys were providing the shield. Son of a bitch. Fuck me. He has a shield too. What the fuck, dude? <sighs> okay. Yeah, fuck you. What can I do? Fuck it. What's the plan? Oh. Good. I'll stop that. I'll be used to fights by now. Let's do this. Mm, that is nothing. I did I fucking nothing. Now all their shields are gone. Did it just like take a second for all their shields to disappear after we killed those things? God, what a fucking nightmare. Damn, that's a good attack though. Target number 12. I guess life comes at you fast. Yeah. No 
one point overthinking it. That ought to be used to fight by now. No Should have moved in. Oh! This is easily the most defense we've lost in a map so far. That was bad. That was real bad. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a C rank on this thing. Terminal clutch surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. We push them back somehow. These fancy upgraded kaiju are no joke. It's a vicious cycle. We're stuck in an arms race where we can only win by improving our own sentinels. I managed to analyze the new model of Absos. It's not just the shields. Their auto repair nanotech got a major boost too. Seriously? I was just thinking it was weird how long they were lasting. If we don't counter them with EMP equipment, we won't stand a chance. Having less direct offense isn't ideal, but if we don't disable them, they'll get out of control. I'd say. Even then, we've already bought a lot of time. It can't be that long left. All right. How much more time do we need for this big Save the World program? Well... Guess we pushed them back. Yeah, Fuyasaka took a lot of damage there. Try to Japan, we'll be okay. <laughs> Easily our worst map. Rank D doesn't surprise me. <laughs> that was bad. Um... And honestly, it was a lot harder because of those bonus objectives. Only having Gen 1 and 2. Gen 1s are the only ones who have EMP. Gen 2s don't have any. And, like, it would have been way nicer to have some other EMP options, too. So. Okay. Next time, I think we're going to be doing Wave 10. Well, let's see, actually. How many are, uh... Okay, nobody's overloaded. No, no, you're overloaded. Why are you red but not listed as overloaded? That's weird. I got it. I've never seen that before. Is that a bug? Hmm, doesn't matter. Uh, at any rate, we're going to end things here, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.